Hello everyone. So here we are today with Angry Birds Go. This is the latest game in Rovio's Angry Birds franchise and it takes a different approach than we've seen before. It's basically a downhill karting game where you will have to race against other Angry Birds and the evil piggies to attempt to, well, win. Whilst you're racing down the course you'll pick up gold coins. You can also pick up gems which are part of the in-game currency system that Rovio have built in. The main problem I have with this game is it's a boring game. It's not a very good racing game and unfortunately with the in-app purchases and the way they've been structured in to uh, Angry Birds Go it just leads to a frustrating experience. Unfortunately one that is driven by in-app purchases not by really good gameplay. The graphics are fantastic as we would expect from something from Rovio. Beautiful, colourful, cell shaded animation and it just looks great but unfortunately with the way the in-app purchases have been layered in it leads to a game that just feels well bland and you know really just there to take money from your wallet it's a real pity because rovio really are one of the best games developers out there on mobile platforms but here it just feels like a bit of a miss the main problem i really had with this game is the driving is boring plain and simple this is no mario kart you know it doesn't really have the right vibe going on the speed isn't necessarily there and it just feels to me like the game is desperately looking for some really engaging and fun levels to drive on. It just isn't here, unfortunately, with uh, Angry Birds Go. The main big issue, though, is the in-app purchases, which drive the game, quite literally, to your wallet. After every race, you've expended energy with your Angry Bird, and as races progress, your energy will get lower to a point where you'll no longer be able to race without taking a break. Now, we've seen this game mechanic before, but unfortunately it doesn't lead to a really fun experience. If you want people to play your game, you want to keep them playing. And this just feels like, well, either stop, go off and do something else for a few hours, or put your hand in your pocket to carry on playing. It just doesn't lead to a great fun experience. It leads to an experience where you just think, well, I'll play it for a little bit and then probably never play it again. It's a real shame because the game has a lot of potential, but unfortunately those in-app purchases have really ruined the experience for Angry Birds Go. I support developers in experimenting with in-app purchases, and I want to see in-app purchases working well for everybody. This one does not feel like it's got the balance quite right. <laughs> 